I'm doing around 30 cows now. My target is around 50. Mm -hmm. I want to do like 50 milkers. Mm -hmm. The A cylinder now is I'm doing 39. Currently, I'm milking around 14 cows. I'm doing 310. Management of high-yielding cows presents specific operational and technical challenges to farmers. This has driven many farmers to keep cows that produce modest quantities of milk. In order to understand management of high-yielding cows, Mfugo Africa Media visited Mr. Harry Benson, who is a youthful, passionate farmer in Shongi village, Tebesonic ward, Bereti sub-county in Kiricho county to bring you his journey as a dairy farmer. Well, kindly introduce yourself, who are you, maybe the name of the farm, where it is located. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you. Uh, my name is Harry Benson Cheriot. Here you are here now is Kiricho county, Bureti constituency, Tebesonic ward, Shongi village. That's where my farm is situated. What is the name of the farm and how did the name come about? Oh, the, the name was so funny. <laughs> yes. The name of this farm is APC Farm. Uh -huh. That is... ABC for the alphabet. Yeah. Uh -huh. APC, A stands for Andrew yeah. Benson Shebelion. Uh -huh. That name derived from my father, my late father. Okay. I was to Andrew Benson Shebelion. Okay. And funny enough, uh, my wife is called Adija. And I'm Benson. I, by the way, I took that name like I'm Harry Benson Chiriot. Mm -hmm. But my wife is called Adija Chikiri. Mm -hmm. So I derive it's like it's a coincidence. Mm -hmm. So that's where I, I choose that name. It fits this one. Okay. So that's why I, I use that name. I'm a dairy farmer. I do tea farming again. Hey. This is what I do for a living. Uh -huh. Yeah. Take us through the size of the farm, the number of cows that you have right now. And maybe also tell us the journey. When did you start uh, the dairy farming and what really made you to like dairy farming? Oh, yes. basically when I started this dairy, around 2019, that's when I brought my first cow from Kiambu. Tell us now the situation of your farm from 2019 up to date. How many cows do you have? I'm doing around 30 cows now. No. And I'm, my target is around 50. Mm -hmm. I want to do like 50 milkers. Mm -hmm. And maybe uh, it was around 70. Mm -hmm. Because it's possible. Take us through the production currently in your farm. We talk of uh, how many liters do you get from a high yielding cow and the list that you get and maybe in general. How many liters do you milk a day? The A cylinder now is I'm doing 39 now. Currently it's just 50. Yes. It's that 39. Okay. Calm down three years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. That's the highest. Mm -hmm. The lowest, it depends. You know, when a cow calms it down, mm -hmm. that's when the milk is at peak. Okay. I can mm -hmm. mm -hmm. reduce. So the least I can do, I'm drawing a cow here at 12 liters up mm -hmm. per day. Okay. Yeah. Currently, I'm milking around 14 cows. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A production, I think, we need 286 in our supply. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have like four calves. Uh -huh. And for those four calves, is doing six, so around 24. Mm -hmm. Let's say I'm doing the return. Okay. But the first thing is passion. Mm -hmm. Me, I like cows. If, you, if I can show you my friends, my friends are dairy farmers. I like talking about cows. I like reading about more about cows. Everything. It's my passion. I have that bond with cows. I don't know why. So I developed passion in cows when I was still young. When I was at home, we used to milk cows. That's it. Okay. Yeah. I used to graze this, but we couldn't make a dairy unit paddle. So when I visited a friend from Kapkatet, it's around 30 minutes drive from here. And that's why then I developed that interest because when I see the milk production, the when you balance feeding and milk production, you go in Indiana. Okay. The guys who was doing around 30 liters in a cow, me I was doing in three cows. The local cows I was doing around nine. A subui maybe only four liters. So that's when I developed that interest. Mika That is on 2019 around January. Mm -hmm. I started with an in-calf cow and I was lucky enough. I bought that cow on Sunday, Kasa Monday. Lucky enough I got an Eva. That cow produced 30 liters. 
that's my journey started there. Going forward, when you produce maybe like 30 liters, mm -hmm. what kept me buying more is the demand. When you sell those 30 liters and the people come, keeps on coming. So when you see people coming for more milk and you don't have, kuna hiyo kitu unasikia vibaya, sasa hii pesa imeenda, na hii pesa njekua yangu. So that really motivated me. Take us through the feeding management. How do you do your feeds or where do you get your feeds from and how do you feed your cows? Dairy farming, the, the biggest challenge is feeds, the cost of feeds. Because when you do this, you want to break even. So the main challenge in dairy farming and in my farm is feeds, the cost of feeds. Now I'm formulating my own dairy meal. I've seen, at least I've seen the, the production as compared to when you buy from the readily formulated, it's a bit cheaper. The formula is good, the feeds are good, but if you see the price, you can do around 60% of your this production per cow. Mm -hmm. So it's like feeds in a cooler 60%. You're remaining around 40%. Ujatoa ya leba, ujatoa. But when I started formulating of myself, I do like 32 now. Currently, I'm without 34, 32 per kilo. So I'm advising young farmers who want to start the feeding is better when you formulate your own. Mm -hmm. Number two, this, uh, this dairy meal, they're not consistent. Because when they are formulating this dairy meal, sometimes labda soya ijaiva kwa shamba, and uh, they have an order somewhere. So they mix, the, they formulate the available. So you find this time when we say yellow maize, next time you yellow maize akuna. So there's no that consistency. So, but when you mix, you know I'm using this. Can I tell you what I'm mixing? Yes. Mine I'm doing like this. I mix uh, three bags, that's of 50 kgs of maize jam. Mm -hmm. And then I had 60 kgs of uh, wheat brand, and then 22 kgs of uh, canola. And what else? Soya, I'm doing 50, mm. and cotton, 50, mm. to make around 332. Mm. With which protein percentage? Protein percentage is around 22. Okay. Yeah. Apart from dairy meal, which other feeds do you feed your cows with? Mostly to me, uh, Napier. When you want to do fairy, use the locally available mm. at the cheapest. What my father will kama kule place no father finye ni fodder. So me, I use almost 80 percent fodder mm -hmm. in Napier. So I plant my, this land is around 2.6. So I planted about uh, two acres and can do those 30 cows. The only worry is that when the, the dry season, mm -hmm. I usually make silage on maybe November. Mm -hmm. Do you compensate your time. Now, there's that dry season. So Napier is the your time. So I make silage do at least we break even by that time. Okay. Yeah. Take us through the breeding management. How do you do it? Which type of cement do you use? I have a bet when you want to breed these cows, mm -hmm. use the imported cements. Okay. No wa chance kama sisi. They don't chance. Mm -hmm. So anything they produce is certified. So I use mostly Natumianga CRI, sometimes worldwide sires, depending on the catalog. When you want to serve a cow, there's things you have to consider. Like a cow is white, because these imported semens are almost the same. Okay. There are factors you see, the bull score. When you see the catalog, that's what you call the bull score. So you want to improve or want to. There's una ngombe weko na ada kubwa, maybe unataka to reduce your ada. Not tempering with the production ya maziwa. So unataka ata tachime ni kwendogo, you want to increase the lion, you want to. It depends. So when serving a cow, is am specific to cows. So I can serve this one with the other bull, the other one this bull, depending on what, what I prefer. Yeah. Kuna cases like mastitis. Mm -hmm. Kuna cases like uh, kuna ngombe sina kuna shida ya kusa. Ease of calving. When you have that catalog, mm -hmm. you can see this bull, bull is improving where, mm -hmm. is reducing where. Because okay. uh, you find another girl is too big. So you want to reduce, unatumia bull a bit medium. Mm -hmm. At least ikiza is isai tena ngombe kubo. It will give you problem in dairy. Wazabu nafa upanue dairy yako for no reason. Mm -hmm. So that's what I consider mm -hmm. when serving cows. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That's good. Let's talk about market. How is the market generally? Let to produce milk. Mm -hmm. Market is automatic. Okay. Because me, I'm supplying three schools. Mm -hmm. um, I was, I think I was lucky. Sikuenda ku apply. They came for me through somebody. The demand is too high. Okay. I don't satisfy the demand. Mm -hmm. Currently, as I'm, the, I'm now. So in future, I'm planning to produce around 1,000 liters. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So milk market mm. is not a challenge. The challenge is to produce of milk. Okay. So I'm selling them at uh, 60. Mm. So currently, if you do the cost, the cost of production. Yes. 
why you need um, I was doing the other time around 40 to produce one liter. Mm -hmm. So if I'm getting like uh, 60, that is better. But uh, this uh, was a society called Cherobu. So you can pay 46. So it's a bit low. But if you have the volume, you have the volume and it multiplied by even six shillings. Mm -hmm. When you have like 300 liters, mm -hmm. you'll make sense. It makes sense because yeah. you'll get like 1800 per day. Mm -hmm. If you do a month, that's a good money. What are some of the challenges that you're facing as the owner, the manager of the farm? What are some of the challenges that you're passing through? The main challenge is, I think, the cost of production. The cost of feed is so high. Say so that we are hoping that this government will consider dairy farmers because uh, when you do the the cost because that's where people go wrong if you do the cost of a cow like if you get like two cows producing less than 20 liters you're not in business if you feed few cows you're not break even so the best number is five number two the main challenge is uh, a gene because sometimes you have a busy schedule maybe you want to advance or something and when you leave these workers it will breed those bacteria so unapata ngombe ingini unafika jioni ngombe imekonjeka like it's all about a gene too. So the area in a fire clean, wash it. The third thing is uh, me and many farmers. The main challenges we have is these cows, these are yielders, the conception rate is so low. So you find a cow, you napati a big marakama maratan. You like a cow, it's a yielder. Even have another cow there, she did 43, but I served seven times. That is around a year serving. So that's the main challenge. Because I think technology consider so much on emphasize so much on production uh -huh. but not consumption. Okay. So anything that is so productive does a challenge of consumption. Okay. I don't know why. Okay. So when we serve, when you are serving now that is the factors we are still considering. The conception rate they are bull na eka ngombe in the way. Ata hiyo my status. Kuna ngombe is they are prone to my status. So when you are serving a cow if the mother if the dam is ikonayoshi that in year she died my status sympathy and mommy in big way you can I the consistency mm -hmm. of labor when you are procedurally a labor a human labor mm -hmm. it's so hard because these people when you are not there they don't do things the way you expected so in future maybe I'm planning to mechanize this farm you have to start using machines to cap those things because she died my status mostly in your gene how many workers are you having in your farm and how are they doing it Generally. I have three workers. One from local, the one I saw them, the two of them are sourced from Uganda. So I think I'm impressed with the way they do things. The only one secret about workers is freedom. Mm -hmm. Treat her like your child. So when somebody is a your worker, it doesn't necessarily mean that he's, he or she is less human. Mm -hmm. So I give them the food that I'm using, the food that I, the line that I'm taking today is the same line they are taking. So they have those freedom, they are free to do anything, but they are for program. I categorize them, they do this, because uh, this link here, kuna mwenye nakata leo, wakati kesho. Kuna mwenye napeleka mbolea, to spread uko kwa shamba, kuna mwenye napalilia. But all of them, they are milky. They have specific cows. So when a cow produces less, or when a cow get my status, is that somebody I'm concerned about it. I'm doing a good job. There are farmers outside there. There mm. is one who, star, who wants to really start. There is one who is picking, but at the same time, he or she is trying to have two months. I can do this, I cannot do this. Mm. What advice do you have to such farmers? First thing, in dairy farming, there is no shortcut. You have to have that passion. Mm -hmm. Because these cows sometimes are not dry. A cow can get sick. If you are not passion driven, so the best thing is you have that passion. Number two, you a target. Number three, you find a biashara. You do record, you buy a woman, you buy a dairy mill, you buy a mill for how long, you produce how much. Many people do wrong because they don't record. Our due, you know, you have to pay a gapi, you have to pay a gapi. At the end of the month, you have to pay a gapi. Number two, you minimize. You know what uh, the secret about this farm is? Uh, I used to feed this cow three times a day. By return, I reduce it to two. I'm feeding them twice a day. They maintain that production. So feeding, even to human, is psychological. When you, it's like conditioning it. When you kifuza ngomba kule mara tatu, ata mara ine. But utakuwa na manua mingi biyabure. So I'm doing it uh, twice a day. Production is the same. Number two, I'm advising young farmers. Let's find the dairy farm. Volume is the secret. When you are volume, you don't complain. But if you feed one cow, number two, you want to sustain your family with it. You want to pay school fees, you want to... It won't. So let's diversify dairy, 
do other things na advice if possible asiuze hizi maziwa ya kuuza daily that's where people go wrong because ukiuza maziwa leo upate 500 utaenda kwa duka huko unwe credit at the end of the month you cannot account that 50 shilling that umetoa ya lunch and you see you umetumia kwa transport at the end of the month will be complaining number two wezi pata ya chakula ya ngombe so i'm advising farmers let's take our milk to society when you take to the society you bring those feed at the end of the month they deduct those the cost of feeds unapata na pesa so that's what i'm advising them okay you have that challenge no joy as i don't know other people to me have a weakness of saving money If I get money last month spent I'm advising them to bring the to take their money to society or if they are, are disciplined saving wacha wafanye hesabu ngombe wakiuza maziwa leo aende aweke kwa sababu hii ngombe ukikosa ku save pesa utakosa ya kula kesho mm-hmm. how really do you keep your records of production uh, feeding and everything to me how I consume this depending on the production that is why I, I divide I subdivide those piece cows mm-hmm. so we divide hivyo na kuonyesha hizo ngombe zinatoa almost the same mm-hmm. so the feeds that wanakula ni almost the same unapata au huko mwisho they doing around 39 35 so the same feeds they are using so when we are what we give for say for example they are mixing eivers napata eiva hapa anakula kama ngombe ya maziwa at the end of the month ama at the end of those time we labda like calm down haitaonekana huko nyuma ilikuwa imekula dairy meat Mhm. Uh-huh. Not just the, the feeding of an Aiva to me. The what the feeds that I'm using in Aiva and uh, the milk as I'm talking about. So I combine them depending on the production of milk, whether they are in calf or copa moja. So that's why I need to make those kamba ukawanisha hivyo.